Could it be this is the new face of pro football? Questioning, informed, wary. Chris Borland, a highly skilled, well-paid, sky's the limit young player who's decided the best thing for him is to walk away from the game forever. From what I've researched and what I've experienced, he told US Sports Network ESPN, I don't think it's worth the risk. In now retiring at age 24, after just one season as an NFL star, the San Francisco 49ers cites as that risk concussions and their potential long-term harm if he keeps doing this for a living. I just don't want to get in a situation where I'm negotiating my health for, for money. And uh, who knows how many hits is too many. Borland becomes the first player to retire early, citing that risk, but he's hardly the first to consider its effects. That research includes suggestions as many as three in ten former NFLers suffer Alzheimer's or dementia. Unfortunately, I know too many former players who are now dealing with the residual effects of concussions. When star player Junior Seau shot himself to death in 2012 at age 43, his brain showed chronic trauma, typically caused by repeated hits to the head. And a settlement is expected soon for thousands of ex-NFLers who've sued the league over concussions. For its part, the NFL says the league is now safer than ever, with concussions down 25 percent in the last year. That's a pretty embarrassing statement. They sound like the tobacco industry talking about how they just created a safer cigarette. Those who promote awareness about concussions hope Borland's move inspires others to at least consider their options. Million-dollar contracts versus, perhaps, their mental health. I'm not surprised that he chose to walk away because he's sort of caught in a catch-22 that if he becomes very successful and plays 10 or 15 more years, his risk of developing chronic traumatic encephalopathy is, is potentially through the roof, and it's not a disease you would wish on your worst enemy. And for Chris Borland, it's a risk that just wasn't worth it. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.